Spring Hill police were busy this weekend responding to multiple incidents involving disputes, weapons, along with intoxication. Then last night, a man tried to rob a Springfield Lottery deli with a hatchet. KEZI 9 News reporter Kelsey Card is live with more on the weekend crimes. Kelsey? Guys, the robbery here at Ashley's near 40th and Main Street could have ended a lot worse if it weren't for a customer who was able to intervene and safely tackle the suspect and hold him in a chokehold until officers arrived. Now, here's a look at that case and three shooting incidents that took place in three different Springfield neighborhoods in two days. This time of year when people are kind of cooped in and in the holidays and drinking and carrying on, um, sometimes they get tired of each other and they get cross with each other and those kind of things happen. It started early Saturday around 2 a.m. Springfield police responded to what began as a racial related dispute at V Street and Shady Lane. They arrested 22 year old Jeffrey Braden for allegedly firing off a stolen gun into the air and trying to hide it. He says trying to break up a dispute. He wasn't directly involved in the initial fight. Then that night, a fight at the 700 block of Oakdale Street. 22-year-old Joseph Vandervoort was arrested for firing one shot from a semi-automatic pistol. The bullet lodged into a neighbor's door. Bad judgment and alcohol usually don't mix. An early Sunday morning, 25-year-old Kurt Smith was arrested for allegedly firing shots into the air in the midst of a dispute near 5th and B Street. Smith says an unknown male threatened him with a knife. Police are still looking for that suspect. In each case, no one was injured. Investigators say alcohol played a role in at least two. Firing warning shots seems to never work. And some of those shots were fired due to the intoxication of the people behind the gun. And then last night, around 9 p.m., Police say 22 year old Sydney Queener entered Ashley's Deli hatchet in hand. He demanded the employee open the register. A customer saw an opportunity and took Queener down in a chokehold until police came. In this situation, I actually commend it because he actually got an opportunity to get this person away from the clerk who he thought was an imminent danger. Springfield police say as high volume as it may sound, sometimes crime just happens in waves. You know, nature of the business, sometimes there's nothing and it's feast or famine sometimes. Then once things happen, it always seems like they just, some people say they happen in threes, but sometimes they happen in more than that. They just keep coming. Another incident that kept officers on their toes this weekend. Springfield resident Gerardo Castro Aguirre was arrested Saturday night for drunk driving before Springfield police were able to actually catch up with him. He hit three parked cars near 6th and G Street and sped through several different yards on 7th Street, knocking over fences and a street sign at Springfield High School. Live in Springfield, Kelsey Card, KEZI 9 News.